in the first quarter to five minutes to go in the second, where there was you know three turnovers and a ton of points. Cincinnati really amazed. Yeah. Eddie Martin talked about that with us as Tion Green goes in motion. And that pass is incomplete. You wonder in terms of Martin getting excited for this game if the carryover. season that leads the entire country. Yeah, so that's they're, a good point. They're, they're, they're moving the chains. So they do a lot more work on first and second down. Keel on first down again to the sidelines. Ball caught again. Receiver dragged out of bounds. That's Chris Moore. Keel plenty of time to throw the football to the end zone. And broken up at the goal line. Well, that's what Coach Martin talked about to us before the game. It's all day to throw, but look at him. He's looking to his right, looking to his left. He comes back, and he waits too long, and it allows the safety, Tony Reed, to come over. That come back to Hanna. Oh, yes. Broken tackle there, first down. Here comes Chris Moore in Cincinnati right back at you. Absolutely four, four down territory. How about the stack receiver look? Cincinnati just one for seven on third down, and they'll convert on this one. They run a double stack receiver. Highly entertaining <laughs> first half. Time. <laughs> Keel with a look, a look, throwing for a touchdown. Caught at the goal line, and apparently just short. Jim, I think he was in the end zone, and he sort of jumps out of the end zone and catches it right at about... I don't know, the half-inch line, if that is a door. Take a look at it here. Gunnar Kiel looks off to his right, comes back, goes through his progression, and then he finds his target there, Chris Moore. I thought initially it was going to be a touchdown, but he, his body... In moment. fact, it's been ruled a touchdown, but it's going to be looked yeah. at again. It might be a touchdown, considering it's where the ball is when it is caught. Sure. He's in the air, but 